on to plenary 3. Now plenary 3 talks more about bridging the gap between risk assessment and risk communication. To summarize what I've learned, firstly is to understand what is actually risk assessment. By definition, it is the systematic process for gathering, assessing and documenting information to assign a level of risk for a potential acute public health event. Secondly, there were two key frameworks that was introduced in this plenary. That is, number one, the surveillance, risk assessment and response framework. And number two is the risk management framework for public health events. Basically, both frameworks are essential in assessing the risk involved in any type of crisis. The former assesses the event-based surveillance and indicator-based surveillance, while the latter framework bridges the gap between risk communication and risk assessment while going through the risk management processes. Have a look at the first one. There is a surveillance, risk assessment and response framework. This particular framework shows you that it is actually a cycle when you are trying to assess the event-based surveillance, indicator-based surveillance and the response. Now, with the risk management framework for public health events, you can clearly see that risk communication is involved in every step of the assessment, from the information of for risk assessment, to developing and prioritizing the control options, to implementation part, and finally to the review and modify. All in all, requires risk communication. That's plenary number three. Created using Powtoon.